Hi there, um, I'm going to do an unboxing of the DJI Mini 3 Pro. This has just arrived, uh, came out yesterday, you could get it quicker in Argos here in the UK. I got it direct from DJI, I ordered it within seconds of it uh, being available. Um, I put a fly more kit in with it, I was, a message came up saying that one item in the basket is going to take longer, Do you, are you happy for all of it to take longer? So I quickly took the DJI um, fly more kit for this out and bought this on its own and then seconds later bought the DJI kit but both arrived today this is uh, Wednesday the 18th okay so I've taken the outside wrapper off don't bore you with that taken the little sticker off there and this is what you are presented with this little gorgeous little baby here is waiting for you uh, some sort of little pressure pads here to keep it in place can't remember what I think it was the FPV drone when I bought that um, wasn't very cleverly boxed actually, and it was rattling around inside the box. This, this is nice. Comes with one of those matte plastic wrappers. So let's, I'll take that out like this carefully. So if you hear panting, my dog's in down by my feet because uh, uh, my other half's cooking dinner. Uh, right, so first impressions uh, rounded, more rounded look, matte finish. I think that's going to be fun sticking my uh, uh, CAA credentials onto that like you have to uh, in Europe, where I am. Uh, so like here, uh, let's show you. So on the back there, we've got a little bit of, uh, it's got my ID there, my operator's ID and my fly ID on the back there, which you have to have by law. It's only one of those you've got to have, I'm not sure which, can't remember. So this is what it looks like. There is the old... Old ones stand them together, pretty similar in size. Obviously weight is the same. And, um, all right, let's have it, let's take the gimbal off, uh, gimbal guard off for starters, because that's, right, that seems quite nice and simple, actually. Uh, the old, the Mavic 2 was a little bit fiddly. No, that seems nice and simple. It's good to look after the gimbal. And and then out comes the legs. They seem, uh, someone I noticed said that they felt very flimsy and uh, feel, feel all right to me. And then the whole thing sits um, on the base. I can't tell you how the uh, Mavic 2, right, no, the Mavic 2 actually purchased on, uh, it, some of its weight was on its front legs there on these little stands. So they've got rid of that and uh, have the whole weight on, which is okay. I don't know if it's, it might make it unstable on landing, actually. That'd be interesting to see whether it tips with that. Um, so there we have it. Uh, battery is not in there already. Let's have a look. Come on, you, Randy, open this. Take that off. I can't imagine it's that difficult. Um, oh, hang on, right, so it's pressure, is that it? Pressure pads. Um, right, okay, right, so there's no flap uh, on the back. Let's get the uh, Mavic 2 out. For the Mavic, Mavic 2, there's a little flap, and then you pull the battery out of there. So the whole back is, um, is the back, back of the battery. Uh, that feels actually a very, very, very solid um, connection there, and you need dual press by the looks of things. So on the back of this, you've got the SD card and the um, USB port at the bottom, and now it's on the top. And unfortunately, because they are on the same side, I was wondering whether I'd be able to put this in the dome charging port that you can get. There's a nice dome with LED lights. Nice and pretty. It's quite fun on your desk if you've got a tidy desk like me. Um, but you, it doesn't look like that's going to be an easy fit to charge it. But we will look into that later. We'll have a little play with that later. So that's what the Wii drone's like. So a lot of flying is going towards this size because the restrictions are so much less for this than here in Europe. Um, you still can't fly over crowds, certainly can't fly over stadiums because of the crowd side of it. Um, in fact, actually, I've got the wording there wrong. It's not that you can't fly over crowds, it's over groups of people. So technically, it could be six people, not a crowd. It used to be a thousand people in a crowd were the old laws. Now it's a group of people if they don't have an opportunity to escape. 
is the wording. If they haven't got an opportunity to get out of the way. Um, and um, so, But this the wee drone you can fly in a lot more places. You can technically take off beside the road if you want to. Uh, fly over properties, that kind of thing. Uh, on a much lower uh, license than the larger drones. So that's the beauty of this. Okay, so let's have a look at what else is in the bag. Just put it there. Um, in the box, rather. There's a little hole there to stick your finger through, but you can't... Ah, sorry, I almost forgot the famous controller. So I've got a Mavic 3, but I've got a basic controller with that, not one of the RC uh, contr fancy controllers with the screen. So we'll take this out of the bag. And we've got the sticks at the back and the screen at the front. I can't remember how many inches the screen is. Let's get the sticks out. I do actually hate traveling with the sticks put away there. Uh, right, they seem a bit different. So, rather, so these are different type sticks. They go onto a male. The sticks are female and the things that go onto are male. And they're quite narrow actually. And uh, let's take the Mavic, the normal basic Mavic controller, a mini controller there. So a little size comparison. And the sticks are a lot thicker uh, in uh, the stem. And as I say, they're male. And now these are female. Let's show you. Let's get a bit closer. Oh, no light. Get the light so you can see. So we have, this is the new controller, small, and it has a hole in it. So that's technically called female. No idea why. And that's a male because it's got a bit sticking out. Mm. Um, these actually also have rubber on the basic ones. And these are bare metal for some reason. Um, okay, so some of the slight, you could argue, issue qualities. But really, I mean, this technically is about 150 quid is what you're paying for this which is relatively um, good value, I, I would suggest. And, uh, right, there's two um, bars of power in that. So, we will get this uh, charged up and uh, see how we get on. Let's finish looking at uh, what's in the box. And then in a moment, I'm gonna do a uh, some gel packs and a little box with a USB to USB, micro USB to micro USB charger, uh, a little quick start booklet, some spare props, and a little tool for putting the props on, a uh, large leaflet, and uh, share the skies responsibly form. So um, I think, as we knew, there wouldn't be a charging block. I mean, one is accumulating charging blocks. Um, so I don't think that's a bad idea to not bother with that. Um, OK, so um, I'm going to now do a uh, opening of, a, uh, of the Fly More kit, which you'll see in my next video. Thank you very much for watching. Just out of interest, in case you're interested, I am said interesting twice. See here, this is the new DJI mic we're trying, up, trying out. It is, there's a unit on top of my Canon that I'm filming this with, and that's going to the, the mic input of the camera. So it should all be recorded directly onto um, the video footage, nice and clearly. And we'll, you can see for yourself what you think of the quality of that. So bingo, thank you very much. Let's get on with the next one. Catch you later.